Greetings, we'll cover a few details about, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, career, persona, accolades, notable works, legacy, and demise. The oldest, male member of the British royal family and the longest reigning consort of a British monarch, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, was Queen Elizabeth II's husband. The British monarch's consort, from the time of her coronation on February 6, 1952, until his death in 2021. Also known as, Prince Philip of Greece and Denmark, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, famous as, husband of Queen Elizabeth II, born, June 10, 1921, Monday Repos Park, Corfu, Greece, died, April 9, 2021, Windsor Castle, Windsor, United Kingdom. Father, Prince Andrew of Greece and Denmark, mother, Princess Alice of Battenberg, siblings, Princess Cecilia of Greece and Denmark, Princess Sophie of Greece and Denmark, Princess Margarita of Greece and Denmark, Princess Theodora of Greece and Denmark, spouse, Elizabeth II, children, Charles, Prince of Wales, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and, Princess Royal, Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, education, Schul Schloss Salem, Gordonstown School, Cheam School. Prince Philip was born on June 10, 1921, in Mon Repos, Corfu, Kingdom of Greece, to Princess Alice of Battenberg, the eldest daughter of Louis Alexander Mountbatten, and Prince Andrew of Greece and Denmark. The youngest of five children, he has four older sisters. After his family was forced to flee Greece following World War I, he was raised in Britain. He was first accepted into an American school in Paris, but in 1928, he was sent to the UK to attend Cheam School. At Kensington Palace, he resided there with his maternal grandmother. He was sent to Schulschloss Salem, a boarding school in Germany, in 1933 to attend. Berthold, Margrave of Baden, was his brother-in-law. Because of the emergence of Nazism in Germany, he left after serving there for two terms and relocated to Gordonstown. He left Gordonstown in 1939 and enlisted in the Royal Navy at the Royal Naval College, Dartmouth, where he graduated as the top cadet in his class the following year. He was a member of the British troops during World War II, having been commissioned as a midshipman in 1940. Following shorter stints on the battleships HMS Shropshire and HMS Kent, he spent four months aboard the HMS Ramillies before being deployed to the HMS Valiant in the Mediterranean fleet in October, in the wake of Italy's invasion of Greece. After a few courses in Portsmouth, where he received the highest grade in four of the five components of the qualifying exam, he was promoted to sub-lieutenant. He was soon assigned to the ship HMS Wallace, which took part in the Allied invasion of Sicily. He received a promotion to the position of lieutenant on July 16, 1942. He joined HMS Wallace from the Royal Navy as first lieutenant in October of the same year. Two years later, he transferred to HMS Welp. In January 1946, he was sent as an instructor at HMS Royal Arthur in Wiltshire. He gained 17 different appointments and medals in the Commonwealth and 48 from other powers, after being appointed to the highest chivalric order, the Order of the Garter, on November 19, 1947. He was appointed chairman of the Coronation Commission soon after, and he was the first royal to use a helicopter to travel to the troops taking part in the ceremony. After being named Admiral of the Fleet, Captain General Royal Marines, Field Marshal, and Marshal of the Royal Air Force in the United Kingdom in 1952, he was also named Admiral of the Sea Cadet Corps, Colonel-in-Chief of the British Army Cadet Force, and Air Commodore-in-Chief of the Air Training Corps. Together with a German educator named Kurt Hahn, he established the Duke of Edinburgh's Award in 1956 with the goal of encouraging young people to feel accountable to both themselves and their communities. 
He visited many countries, during this time aboard the freshly launched HMY Britannia, and inaugurated, the 1956 Summer Olympics, in Melbourne. During this time, he also traveled, to the Antarctic. He was given the title, Prince of the United Kingdom, on February 22, 1957. He would be addressed, to as, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, it was announced on that day. On October 14, he swore an oath of allegiance in front of the Queen, at Rideau Hall, her official residence in Canada. Elizabeth, the daughter of King George VI, and her parents visited, Dartmouth's Royal Naval College, in 1939, where he first met her. They fell in love with one another and kept in touch, by writing each other letters. He requested the monarch's consent, to marry his daughter in 1946, and the king granted his request. On November 20, 1947, they were wed at Westminster Abbey. Charles, Prince of Wales, and Princess Royal, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex were his four children. At the age of 96, Prince Philip stepped down from his royal responsibilities on August 2. He presided over the UK branch of the World Wildlife Fund from 1961 until 1982. He assumed the position of international president in 1981 and prioritized conservation and environmental issues. He served as the International Equestrian Federation's president from 1964 to 1986 and was the patron of the Work Foundation. In addition, he held the positions of chancellor at the Universities of Wales, Edinburgh, Cambridge, and Salford. He was chosen to serve as the Lord of Her Majesty's Most Honorable Privy Council on November 4, 1951. He was named Grand Master and First and Principal Knight Grand, Cross of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, after serving for two years. He received a Member First Class of the Order of the Brilliant Star designation from Zanzibar in 1963. He was designated by Singapore as a honorary member of the Darja Utama Temasek in 1972. The highest position that anyone other than the sovereign can hold in the organization was bestowed to him by the Queen on his 90th birthday, Lord High Admiral of the Royal Navy. He was also given the highest positions in each branch of the Canadian Forces, including General of the Land Force Command and Air Command and Honorary Admiral of the Maritime Command. After him, the Duke of Edinburgh Award was created. Anyone between the ages of 14 and 24 may participate in the program of activities required to receive the award. A different prize called Prince Philip's Designer's Prize, presented annually by the Design Council, recognizes design excellence. Engineers of all nationalities, who have made outstanding contributions to management, education, or engineering are given the Prince Philip Medal. He was named a Extraordinary Commander of the Order of Military, Merit, and a Extraordinary Companion of the Order of Canada in April 2013. The Royal Collection Trust hosted an exhibition at Windsor Castle and the Palace of Holyrood House to commemorate Prince Philip's 100th birthday. Around 150 of his personal belongings were on display in the exhibit, Prince Philip, a celebration, including his wedding card, wedding menu, midshipman's logbook from 1940 to 1941, chair of estate, and the coronation robes and coronet he wore for his wife's 1953 coronation. A focus on Philip's role with the subsequent restoration included George Alexis Weymouth's portrait of the Duke in the remains of the castle, following the 1992 fire. The Royal Horticultural Society created a brand new rose in his honor to commemorate his 100th birthday. It was given the name the Duke of Edinburgh Rose and was developed by British rose grower Harkness Roses. The deep pink memorial rose was delivered to the Queen who serves as the Royal Horticultural Society's patron, and she observed, it looks magnificent. Since then, a Duke of Edinburgh rose has been planted, on the East Terrace Gardens mixed rose border, where Philip played, a significant part in the garden's design. 
The Royal National Lifeboat Institution named their brand new, cutting-edge lifeboat, Duke of Edinburgh in honor of Philip in September 2021. Originally, intended to commemorate his 100th birthday, the homage in the same month, the documentary with input from his children, son and daughters-in-law, and seven of his grandchildren with the working, title Prince Philip, the royal family remembers, was aired on BBC One, originally intended for his centenary. At the age of 99, Philip passed away, at Windsor Castle on the morning of April 9, 2021, from old age. Just a few months away, from turning 100. He served, as a royal consort, for the longest period of time in history. The Queen said, that her husband's passing left a big vacuum in her life, and that, she had been by his bedside, when he passed away. His passing prompted, the start of Operation Fourth Bridge, a strategy for making his passing known, to the public and setting up his burial.